How to create a new Google account. Since its inception in 2004, Gmail has steadily risen in popularity. It is now used by millions across the world to send emails of all sorts, whether personal or business related. To use Gmail, you'll need to create a Google account. Let's see how to create one now. In your browser, navigate to gmail.com. Look down the page. Click the Create an Account button. If you already have a Google account, you do not need to create another one to use Gmail. Simply click the Sign in Here link. As stated below, not only will this account give you access to Gmail, but also to many of Google's other popular services. Enter your first and last names. Scroll down. Type your desired login name. Then, click this button to check its availability. As you can see, the requested login name is not available. If you want, choose from one of the available usernames listed below, or try your luck again. Our second choice is available. Now, choose a password. It will need to be at least 8 characters in length and of sufficient strength. Re-enter your password. Indicate if you would like to stay signed in or enable web history, then scroll down. Next, choose and answer a security question. Entering a secondary email address if you have one can help if you ever have problems with your Gmail account in the future. You should update the location field to reflect your country of residence. In order to prevent automated account creation, you must enter the verification text. Clicking this icon will play back an audio clip of the text being read for the vision impaired or if the picture is simply too hard to read. Scroll down. In order to proceed, you must first agree to the terms of service. Read to the terms if you like. If you accept the terms, click this button to create your account. If successful, you will receive a congratulations message along with a quick run-through of some of Gmail's unique features. When ready, click Show Me My Account. That's it! Your Gmail account has been created and is now ready to be used. Watch the tutorials that follow to find out how.